All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Pit People here on Bite Size Beefs. And we're just jamming out early morning boys right now. Do these rewards or do these tasks for rewards from the Emperor. These are our quests here. I'm gonna bop my headphones down just a bit. So if you heard that clicking, that's what that was. Kill 12 enemies with Nitro. Do 750 fire damage. Ooh, the Pixie might be good for that. And win the unfair challenge with another player. Well, probably not gonna be playing with other players now, am I? No. So this is very early in the morning for me. <clears throat> Pardon? Very, very early. But uh, I've got a lot of stuff to do, and I've got a lot of pit people to catch up on. So, we last left off with Yosef needing his new eyeball, or his other eyeball. Even though he is a demiclops, and therefore only has one eyeball. So, story quest. Get that ticket back from Jerkamedes. <laughs> Jerkamedes. So, we need a cage. And we need all the cages, because I am not going to be missing out on that sweet, sweet vampire ever again. So we'll buy a bunch of these. What is nitro? Well, we need some nitro, at least, I think. So we'll do that, and then we'll buy another healing camp. And a resurrection? Well, we can't even afford it. So let's go choose our story quest. And if you haven't, you know, even caught on yet, today is going to be a chill boy morning. So be prepared for that. A little bit of low energy, a little bit just a relaxing day today, you know? And this will be going up on May the 8th, so I should be streaming Trailblazers over on Twitch. So, yeah, go get on that. There'll be a video and a tweet, so whenever I go live, if you're not following me on Twitter, yo, go do that. Why ain't you doing that? Come on, man. <laughs> I post updates there, dude. Or ladies, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I'm too tired to think right now. So, right-click launches the bomb again. Yeah! Ooh, I thought we had that guy. And we're over in Tron Village. So yeah, if you wanted to go watch me play the new, like, weird Splatoon-esque racing game, uh, yeah, hit me up on Twitch later on today, May the 8th. And, uh, if you're watching this anywhere past May the 8th, sorry, you missed it. <laughs> but, uh, once again, if you... Keep in touch with the YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. You will be easily able to know when I go live for streaming. And we are just bopping all these guys. We are just not worrying about fighting a single one of them. Oh, that guy looks dapper. Look at that. He's got like a little top hat going on there. We're getting a bunch of little extra gold though for exploring all these new areas. Ooh, is that honey? <gasps> Candyland! The treat retreat. Oh, it's so happy! It's so happy to be eaten. Eaten by me. Eat him! I will eat it. There we go. And then there was another pixie. I saw a pixie. We're not going to be fighting that pixie because pixies suck. I hate pixies. Aha! We, we drove through the arches. Congratulations, us. Oh, hey now, hey now. Oh, man, she's got Candyland goo all over her face. So, is that Jerkamedes right there? That is Jerkamedes right there. Difficulty... What was that? Three? Three skulls? Ah, eh, three skulls and five skulls. Let's do it. Let us do it. For we are Spongebob. I like that, like, pixelated dissolve or fade in that they do for this. <laughs> Welcome, friends, to the Treat Retreat Retirement Home. I am Jerkamedes. You may remember me from other traumatic experiences, like when I led a gang of child eaters to your house. Oh, hey, that was that guy? What? Aha! Uh -huh. We... No, he's, he's not Canadian. <laughs> uh-huh. We need that ticket you grabbed, Jerkamedes. <laughs> of course you do. Why do you think I snatched it, duh? Tell you what. I'll give it to you, but first, you gotta kill all these cupcakes. <laughs> what? Why? Because otherwise, I'll make you all explode. You've got ten rounds, okay? Good luck. <laughs> My cupcakes are delicious. Once again, low energy. <laughs> Look at them scamper. Like delicious little cockroaches. <laughs> they giggle. Ten. Oh, he's just going to count down, isn't he? Well, okay, so I believe at the end of the last episode, we did a little bit of character customization, or at least off-camera. So, our Yosef now has bombs and a helmet, because safety first. 
Uh, safety first. Then we got like a crystal sword for Sophia. So here we go. We can launch uh, launch our little boy up in there. Our, our little Yosef. Oh, well, we shouldn't be going face first into an explosion. So let's start taking all our melee through here and we'll have our ranged. Oh, man. Can he even get that far? Is that everybody? All right, there we go. Blimmo. But yeah, so once again, just low key, easy, easy little stream. Oh, Yosef missed? What? Do the bombs have a miss chance? Damn! Well, alright then. If you say so, Yosef. And then we'll get all our melee people up in here. It's delicious. Delicious little treats for everyone to eat. Delicious little treats for everyone. In their mouth holes one by one. Oh, there's also that guy up there who's a sneaky, sneaky little git. Ed? <laughs> Ed. I love being so deliciously evil. And we can get cupcake. I mean, I guess we don't even really need cupcake here. Cupcake's just chilling. Man, this music. I love this game for its music. It's so tight. <laughs> and that's everybody? Yeah, cool. So yeah, I've been up to a lot of stuff lately. Just going out and about and arranging a bunch of things. You know, basic life shenanigans. And uh, that's it's unfortunately put off the uh, Order 1886 review. Uh, I just I keep trying to find time to finish that thing up, and every time I sit down to actually edit something, it's like, well, I either have to edit an episode for tomorrow, or edit the review and then backlog everything for tomorrow. And I've been backlogging so many things for tomorrow that it's just been bogging me down. <laughs> so I have to start getting up early and recording things. <laughs> and that's why I'm up doing the early morning chill boys run. That's just how it is. Got to prioritize, man. Got to prioritize better than I do. But it's just been super busy lately. I may have to uh, just go ahead and take a few weeks where I don't go out and hang with friends just so I can get all caught up on work and stuff. Four! I mean six! I mean eight? Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm Jerk Amidis. You jerk. Go get him. I mean, I guess... I guess, I guess Ratio can't really get in there all that well. I mean, I guess we could have, you know, let him get in there where Pipistrella was. Pipistrella probably could have moved farther, but oh well. We like Pipistrella. Pipistrella is good. She is great. Plus, netting that one guy. Five! Giacomides. <laughs> Why do you keep messing with us? <laughs> messing with us? I'm messing with you, good sir. Okay, messing with me then. First you attack my home, and now this. Attack your... Hey, I didn't touch your home. A giant bear claw crushed your house, not me. Good thing, too. Those child eaters were about to eat your child. Now hurry up, you've got five rounds to go. <laughs> Uh, Jerkimedes, the voice I gave Jerkimedes reminds me of, uh, him. A little bit of him from Powerpuff Girls. And a little bit of the red guy from Cow and Chicken. Just a little bit, though. In my own brain. Because that's what I'm associating with it. Also, I love how this retirement center is made of candy. It's fantastic. I love it. <gasps> Where did you come from? Four! For real this time! Oh, you jerk of I hate you. Hold up, how do I how do I cycle through my characters again? Ah, right click, yes. Ah, right click, yes. It is the ultimate in clicking ability. The right click. No, hold on. And then we need to start getting in up on these guys here. Because this guy got away somehow. He's got magical teleporty goodness. I want it. I want it all up in my jams. Oh my god, you'll never make it, and it's making me so deliciously hungry. Ah, but ah. Uh, ah, did you know? Everybody's got chlorophyll poisoning, but ah. Uh. What do you mean chlorophyll poisoning? Chlorophyll poisoning ain't a thing. Ah, it is here, but ah. Uh. Double kill, yes. Haha, we have slain all the cupcakes. Wait, you did it? I mean, wow, you did it. 
Seriously, Horatio, I know people say you're boring and that you're dumb and lame. Are you going to give us that ticket or not? <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting to that. What was I saying? Oh yes, you're boring and lame. <laughs> Something about Horatio being lame. <laughs> Right, thank you, random girl. So lame. <laughs> but did it stop you from wiping out this retirement home? Nope. You must want this ticket super bad. Well, here you go. I'm Jerkimedes. I want that hat so bad. Bye for now, cuties. I love his little, like, unicorn horse pony stick that has a mustache and, like, a perfectly good quaff of hair. Of course, Sneep Snop is the MVP. He's always the MVP. Dance time, everybody! Also, we did not get a good enough score on that. But still, I love that music. It's great. Man, all the music in this game is always great. Oh, right. I forgot that if we have a full inventory, we can't carry stuff. Is there a way I can drop stuff from my inventory? Hold on. No, I'm pressing buttons, and buttons don't seem to be doing anything. But except for where I put the marker there. But I don't need a marker there. Oh well, I guess we have to leave all that treasure behind. And what say, uh, I don't want another pixie. So, I was gonna say, what say we go ahead and try and capture somebody? Let's see what this girl here has. Let's see what she has in her party. Oh, she has a pixie with a hot dog head? What is that little guy? A groundhog with a tuba? Yo, we're capturing that groundhog with a tuba. You know it, 100%. Sophia, you're gonna have to uh, go get that groundhog, girl. Gonna have to go get that hog. Mm, that hog. Let's do it. Gotta have Pipistrella up in the front line, too. Oh man, we got that sweet Tron music again. Where it's got that beep, 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 beep. I like it, it's great. I hope that guy's not a long range unit. Like a super long range one. Also, hold on, I think there was a way I figured out how to zoom out the map before, but I don't remember now. Dang it, this is what happens when you don't play the game for a hot minute. Like the hottest of minutes. <laughs> I, I know I say that a lot, but it's true. It is so very true. There we go. The bombs. The bombs. And we shall blow them up thusly. Bam! Oh, yes. Bombs. <laughs> wow, they got nuked. Pretty hard, too. Don't you touch my cupcake. Oh, no. He hit Yosef. I guess that's good, because I told him not to hit the cupcake. So they're just doing what I asked them to. No, Yosef, you are to not hit the groundhog. Under no circumstances are you to hit the groundhog, okay? Okay? Okay, thank you. And same with you, Sneep Snop. You are your own murderer. You're a stone-cold murderer. You do not hit the groundhog. Horatio, hit this girl with the baseball cap and the wiener dog. Oh, she's got a backpack full of wieners. <laughs> a backpack full of wieners. Ooh, that was a lot of good damage by Yosef. Nice. Now, hold up. Can I maybe figure out how to get that zoom out here? Let's see. How do we zoom out? How does one zoom out? There was a way, I swear. Oh, no. Hold on. I was pressing space to skip my turn. No. We do not want to do that. We may be a little sleepy. You know, I'm just chilling out this morning. But one thing we do not do is just skip turns. Can't skip no turns. Skipping turns is bad. It's against the rules. Skipping turns is against the rules 100%. Alt, no. There we go. It was click in third mouse button. So mouse wheel in. All right, I got it. Don't worry. I like having the zoomed out feature just because then I can see more of the battlefield. Wow, Yosef is uh, running away. <laughs> Run away, Yosef! Run away! You can stay there, Sneep Snop. And, uh... Sophia... The Recruitador... Yeah, why not? You can move up. I think that's as far as you can move anyway. Yeah, and they're, they're, all those spaces are on fire because, well... 
Sneep Snop is an absolute monster. So we can move her there, and then we'll have to move Pipistrella up in. Yeah, we can move her up in. And then the cupcake can move up and around the fire. We're not moving through the fire with the cupcake. That is a bad. That is definitely a bad. And there we go. Hopefully, Yosef is safe up there. I don't think he might be. But hopefully, he is. Also, I love how, with all the cupcake stuff, he just globs of hair. <laughs> no! You... You critted her all the way back. How dare you? I mean, can I get the cup? Let's see if we can't get the cupcake up near a healing range of Yosef first. I think we can, actually. So there we go. And then Horatio. My beautiful little boy, Horatio. Oh, how fate has tempted you with your blueberry farm and your child being taken away from you. Is that what you like, Horatio? Is that what you like? Because I can give you more, yes. <laughs> Once again, I don't think I can play this game and not do a Stamper impression. It's... It, I can't. I'm too weak. <laughs> I'm too weak. I have to do it. I don't even know what that groundhog does with that tuba. Has he even been doing anything? <gasps> they killed Yosef. That's it. Game over for them. I'm done. I'm done playing. These boys gonna get slapped. They gonna get slap chopped so hard. I'm gonna be like Vince from Slap Chop, and they ain't even gonna know it. They're gonna love my nuts. Yeah, right there. And then we'll move Pippi right up in there. Or, er, Sophia, sorry. Sophia, the recutador. For she is the base. Ooh, Sneep Snap level up. Yes. We look to see them levels up. Come on, quit batting Horatio like he's made of baseballs, man. That, that ain't cool. That ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right. That's all I gotta say about that one. Then we can get Sophia the Recruitor up in there as well and then move the cupcake up and in. And then after. Oh, wait. We won't even be able to keep our captured guy because. Oh, wait, yes, we will be able to keep our captured guy because the net will then. or the cage will then be used to house him, which will replace the item because we'll use the cage, creating a slot, and then the cage will take up a slot. So hopefully. Hopefully that's what will happen, maybe? I think. Hopefully. I am hoping. I am hoping with all of my might on this one. Like all of the hope a little girl could ever muster in the world. Level up yours! Come on, Sophia. Capture him! Recruited! A mascot? Oh, he's a mascot? Nobody's quite sure what this thing really is, but it kind of sounds like a duck. It inspired troops with its music as long as they aren't undead. Inspired troops gain a percentage damage, defense, and accuracy. Boosts cupcake healing, weak to electricity and poison. One slot. Ooh, cool. So no poison, no electricity. Those are bad. But he boosts cupcake healing. And uh, troops gain a percentage of damage, defense, and accuracy bonuses? That's super cool. Do, 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 do. Sorry, Yosef, but you got killed now. Do, 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 can we not get that treasure worse? Nah, it's full. You are full, it says. So how do we use nitro? We press one for nitro, but what does nitro do? I don't understand what nitro does. So let us go ahead and use it. Whoa, okay, it makes us fast. Oh, we can kill enemies while speeding up with it. That's cool. All right, so I guess that's why we have a quest for killing enemies with nitro. I don't think we get experience for that, though. So I think we have to go back to town now. Also because Yosef died. Yosef died. I am so sorry, my poor boy Yosef. My poor sweet little man. Ooh, Candyland. The Gorging Gorge? Ooh, Candyland. Pixies! No! I don't like Pixies. Nobody likes Pixies. Not even Fairly Odd Parents knew Pixies were good. Man, business Pixies, I hate them. So, F1 is for map. Yay. And then town is back here. So how do I... How do I make a, uh, whoops, I launched a bomb by accident. How do I make a stamp? How do I make that, like, my thing? I suppose I cannot. 
Fights? City? Oh, the house. Oh, fighter traits. Oh, here's our fighter traits. Oh, okay, acid damage is what that is. Okay, okay. Look, I'm learning things. I'm learning. I'm, le I'm learning. I'm learning. Yay. Quest item? Cool. Good to know. All right. So we're good. We're good. I know buttons now. I know how to get to where the buttons are. Hey, you, sir. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that. We're going to block you like so and then move and take your gold. Is this Britain? Yo, it is. Straight up. Just Union Jack right there. King Dual Corps Robo Zone. King Dual Corps Robo Zone. And it's got a British flag. What is that? A nod to Total Biscuit? Is Total Biscuit King Dual Corps? <laughs> I mean, he's definitely Lord 60 frames. <gasps> oh, we could. Oh, we could have went after it. But uh, unfortunately, we do not have. Everybody up and ready. But we have a groundhog, an orc's delight. Is this vegan? <laughs> Ooh, a mandible. Ooh, that's cool. A guac. A bear cultist. Ooh, cool. That's a cool hat. Nice. We'll go. We'll go. We will go. Treat, retreat. Rest home in peace. <laughs> wow, I got to hang out. At, oh, that's the Canadian voice again. Wow, I got to hang out in more time in homes. But uh, that got pretty intense. He's just going to be Canadian now. I hate it. But it's going to be. Anyway, we got our ticket so we can go whenever. Cool, bro. So we'll go to our house, our sweet, delicious little home, and we will see what we have for new weapons for everyone. So the mandible provides absolutely nothing new, but looks cooler. So let's do it. Bam. Because I think we were using, what, a lollipop before? And yeah. So there we go. We now have a sword. Now what about Pippi? What about the pipi strilla? No, nothing there. I guess we could always go for hats. So we could go put... Can we put a hat on the... Can we put the bear cultist on a pixie? <gasps> we could... But then his dodge goes down. We could make him a flying bear. But you know what? I don't care. He's going to be a flying bear. And then we still only have the drone wings, which is fine. Cupcake. I don't think we have anything for the cupcake, unfortunately. He's just rocking that hair de jour. That charcoal iced creams. Ah, yes. The delicious iced creams. All right, so if we choose one of these guys and then go down, we could have our robot or our groundhog jump in. Our groundhog might be cool. I mean, Yosef is fine, but we already have one support character, and I feel like we don't need another. But let's check out just, like, what the groundhog can look like, like what he can do. Just because. So he can have a drum, which is kind of cool, or a tuba. I would rather have him have the tuba. The tuba's great. <gasps> oh, what? You can get a little ducky! Oh, he's a little ducky! Or we can have a bipolar bear. I kind of like the bipolar bear, to be honest. So, he's a good support character. And I... Oh, so, I think we should... Take out Yosef. Because Yosef's a little... I mean, no, because Yosef's really good. You know what? We'll keep this for now. We'll keep the four main characters for now. And if I decide I want to change some people up later. Or if you guys want me to decide to change people up later. Let me know. Because I am not above changing people up. Gotta have that people change in... Also, if you want to do some side quests, let me know, because I am not beyond doing more side quests. So we'll do a story quest, follow Yosef to find his buddy and Bloodbath Lagoon, or at Bloodbath Lagoon. All right. <clears throat> and you know what? I think that'll be all for this episode. It's been a nice, we've wrapped it up in like a nice little good bow. And uh, at the beginning of next episode, if that spider, that huge spider lady's still there, we will go ahead and uh, try and capture her to see what secrets she holds. And I will see you next time for another episode of pit people here on Bite Size Beefs. Take care, everybody. I'm doing a little dance for you as I leave. Look, it's merry. It's jiggy. Why aren't the credits rolling yet? Roll the credits. End slate. Come on, man.